everyone, Grandma here. Recently, Grandpa and I were shopping at our favorite store, Trader Joe's, and Grandpa spotted this corn cookie mix, and he said this would be good to try. So that's what we're making today. The ingredients are sugar, unbleached and enriched flour, cornmeal, corn, corn flour, baking powder, salt, baking soda, natural flavors. The nutrition information, serving size is 1 24th of the package. It's one cookie, and that's 170 calories per baked cookie. 8 grams of total fat, 4.5 grams of saturated fat, 30 milligrams of cholesterol, 110 milligrams of sodium, 23 grams of total carbs, 12 grams of total sugars, and 2 grams of protein. Other ingredients needed is a large egg and 2 sticks of unsalted butter. The directions say preheat oven to 325 using a mixer in a large mixing bowl whip butter until smooth combine cookie mix and egg with butter and mix until dough comes together evenly from 24 even size balls and bake on a parchment lined cookie sheet for 15 to 18 minutes allow cookies to cool slightly before transferring them to a cooling sheet yields 24 medium-sized cookies. This is all the ingredients you need. is one egg, two sticks of butter, the corn cookie mix, a large mixing bowl, and if you have a hand mixer, a hand mixer, otherwise you can mix it by hand. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to whip the butter, and I have Grandpa here helping me. Grandpa is now putting the butter in the mixing bowl and he's getting ready to whip it until smooth. This is a very simple and quick recipe. Now the butter is all smooth, so now we're going to combine the cookie mix and egg with the butter. I guess it's done. It looks like it's mixed even. Now we have to form this into 24 even size balls. Make sure your hands are washed, Grandpa. Grandpa is forming the dough into balls now. We have parchment paper on our cookie sheet. And if you hear something, it's the oven being preheated. How is it coming, Grandpa? Is it, are they easy to roll? Yep. This is like my recipe for my Christmas snowballs. Make them balls out of dough and then roll them in my hand and form a ball, putting them on a the cookie sheet. Here's a tray of 12 that we're going to put into the oven now. This is what they look like after 21 minutes. I kept them a little bit longer but because every oven cooks will bake 
a little bit different. And they're a nice size. Now we have to cool them before we take them off the parchment paper. This is the second tray that's going to go in the oven. Now so far this will make 24 cookies and we still have a lot in the bowl. This looks like it might make 36 cookies. Now I am putting them on the cookie rack to cool. This is my favorite little cookie spatula. I bought it years ago when I went to an authentic general store and I just love it. Matter of fact, a few years later I went again and picked up another one because I said if I lose one I have a backup. These cookies smell really good. They smell like corn muffins. I measured the cookie balls and they average about one and a half inches in diameter. We're testing out three cookies, one with uh, smoked paprika, one with Parmesan cheese, and one with black pepper. We tasted one and we think they're very sweet. We're curious to find out how they would taste with a savory ingredient on them. This recipe, the way I made them, came out with 35 cookies. These are all the cookies we made and they came out really nice. Grandpa's going to taste one now. How's it taste, Grandpa? Tastes like a crispy corn muffin, but in a cookie shape. It's crunchy and soft, mainly crunchy. Very good. Now I'm going to taste mine. Looks very nice. Smells good, too. This is the perfect cookie for anybody that likes sugar cookies because it really tastes like a corn muffin but a sugar cookie. It tastes like a sugar cookie with a corn flavor. Well, I'm not that fond of sugar cookies, but it's good. My favorite is really chocolate chip cookies, homemade. If I was to make this again, I'd want it to have less sugar, but it's, since it's a mix, you can't take the sugar out. That's why Grandpa and I always like to make our cookies from scratch. That way we can control the sweetness how we like it. Since the cookies are very sweet, we thought we'd experiment and make a variation. One, we put black pepper. One was smoked paprika, and the third one was Parmesan cheese. Now we're going to give these a taste. The first one we're going to try is the Parmesan cheese. How's it taste, Grandpa? We put too much Parmesan cheese on it. Parmesan nullifies the uh, sweetness of the corn cookie. Now I'm going to taste mine. It tastes very good with the Parmesan cheese. If you like Parmesan cheese, you're going to really love this cookie because it has a really nice flavor. I think it goes well with the corn. To me, it's very good. But if you don't like Parmesan cheese, you're not going to like the cookie. But if you like Parmesan cheese, you're going to love this cookie. It's so good. It's almost like a cheese cracker. I like how it cuts the sweetness. Next, we're going to taste the smoked paprika. How does it taste, Grandpa? Like I'm eating bacon. Really good. Oh, that's great. You don't taste the sweetness of the cookie, but that smoked paprika makes it into a bacon cookie. Well, that's very good for us because we really don't eat bacon, so this way we get some bacon flavor. Now I'm going to taste it. You're right, Grandpa. Mmm, this is good. 
If you like bacon, you're going to love these cookies. It tastes like sweet bacon. I have to be honest, I like them both because I like the paprika and I like the Parmesan cheese. I like the both ingredients and they make the each cookie taste so different and they're made from the same mix. But just by rolling them in the ingredients, it changes the taste. It, it tastes like when you go to a barbecue restaurant and they serve you cornbread. It tastes like it's all the cornbread and the barbecue in a cookie. Now we're going to try the black pepper. How's it taste, Grandpa? Peppery. I prefer the other two better than this one. Not my favorite. Paprika was my favorite. Parmesan second. This is third. Now I'm tasting my cookie. Well, it sure got a kick to it. And if you like black pepper, this is the cookie for you. But if you're not a black pepper lover, it's not. It's very, very strong flavor. But it's still good. But I agree with the Grandpa. This would be the least favorite of the three. It's interesting how all the toppings taste good on the cookie. So if I ever made this uh, mix again, I would definitely add toppings to it. Maybe experiment with a few others. The corn cookies were good, but they were just a plain, really sugar cookie. We really enjoyed them with the more flavorful toppings. We liked the mix of the savory and the sweet.